this is the brand new Sony FE 35mm f1.4 G Master Lens. Also, Sony just announced a drone? What the heck is going on? Hey Tyler, you wanna help me test this? Yep. This photo right here is the last time I went ice skating. Look at the date, February 22nd, 2020. We were so naive. We had no idea what was coming. Tyler, do you remember this? Oh man, simpler <laughs> days. I just Look at how close we were. We were so naive. We had no idea. Wow, times have changed. Man. I miss it. I miss it too. <laughs> that's, that's literally the last time we traveled, and then I'm pretty sure it was like right after that week, I was like, yeah, February 22nd. February 22nd. Right. That, that was the, the week that where me and Princess were like, wait, this is, this is maybe serious. Like, yeah. we should probably just be like cautious and stay at home. And then little did I know that would be like, what, almost a year now of like just being at home mostly. Quarantine. How are you doing with the quarantine life, Tyler? Uh, doing pretty good. I got, uh, Maddie gave me a VR headset, so I've just been <laughs> beat sabering like crazy. That's been, that's been my life. So for all of you people who say I'm a terrible boss, I got on my quest too. I'm it's just got to make up for yeah. some of it, right? <laughs> Feels good to get the mask off. Tyler went home. First, let's talk about this Sony drone. If you didn't hear, Sony is gonna be making drones. They're calling it the Air Peak. It's definitely not a consumer drone. It's definitely for the pros. It's a bigger drone. It's not small. It has an alpha camera on there. I don't know if you can put whatever alpha camera like the Sony A7S III on there or does it come with one, but it looks pretty impressive and I for one am very excited about this because although DJI makes incredible, incredible drones, more competition is just gonna make those drones even better. So uh, I'm really excited to try it out. Plus I've never flown a big drone before that can take like a actual mirrorless or DSLR camera. So Sony, if you would be okay with it, I would love to try it out. Okay, now for the lens. Sony finally has a 35mm f1.4, which I'm really excited about because if somebody asked me what's the one prime lens that they should get, I would almost always say a 35mm f1.4. It's just such a nice lens for so many different types of photography and videography. It's so good for those nice portrait shots, but it can also get those little bit wider shots. Whereas if you're on like a 50 mil or an 85 mil, it's really hard to get wider shots. So the 35 mil to me is the go-to prime lens. And up until now, Sony only had a 35 mil f1.8, which, which is all right, but it's not as good as the 1.4. And you guys know, I just recently switched over to Sony and my biggest reservation was the glass because Canon has incredible glass. There's so many lenses to choose from. I'm constantly still finding lenses and be like, this exists? What is this lens? But that's mostly the EF lenses, not the RF lenses. In terms of their mirrorless cameras, they're a lot more limited. And then you need to use an adapter to use the EF lenses, and it's just not something you wanna deal with. But possibly the biggest difference between Canon lenses and Sony lenses right now is that Sony has decided to go with a linear focus system, which is a newly developed linear autofocus motor which moves the lens elements directly without the need for 
for gears or the drive of other mechanical parts. So a Canon lens will use gears to kind of twist it. I, I think this is what I understand to get it to focus. Whereas Sony is using magnets, I believe, to push the elements forwards and backwards to get them to focus. And in theory, that is supposed to make it a lot faster and a lot more silent. Uh, Sony's using actually two XD extreme dynamic linear motors that are really fast and precise, but still quiet. And if you're wondering the minimum focus distance, the like the closest you can get to the lens is 10.6 inches, which is actually a little bit better than the Canon's comparable lens and quite a bit better than the Sigma 35 mil 1.4. So even though I've always thought of Canon as like kind of the king of glass lenses, they make incredible stuff. Sony is deciding to do some really interesting stuff and use more newer innovative technologies to potentially make even better lenses. Now, is there a big difference in speed? Am I noticing a crazy difference? Not really. Honestly, at this point, I would say that 99.9% .9 of people would never notice the difference. Both do just an incredible job. Both are super fast. And in terms of sound, is there a really big difference? Well, I'll try to let you guys listen. First, we'll do a Canon RF lens. This is a Sigma lens adapted to the RF system. And this is the Sony. Honestly, both the Canon and the Sony are very, very quiet. The Canon does have a little bit more of a higher pitch sound. It does sound more like gear spinning kind of thing. Whereas the Sony has more of like a, a lower pitch, a little bit more bassier kind of like thud movement, but it's really, really quiet. Interestingly, you can actually feel the lens focusing, whereas the Canon, I can't feel anything. And the Sigmas are definitely notoriously loud for focusing. You can hear those gears kind of ratcheting, which can be a problem sometimes with the mics picking it up but most of the time you're not gonna have any issues. I would not say that the Canon lenses are like super loud and you're gonna have issues with that or anything like that. But I do think the Sony is a little bit quieter. But I think the main point here is that Sony is making glass that's just as good or maybe even a little bit better than Canon, which is a big relief for me because that was my biggest reservation switching over to Sony cameras. I'm super excited to try these new lenses and even more excited to realize that Sony actually has a ton of lenses to choose when you're talking about mirrorless cameras, way more than Canon does for their mirrorless cameras. So really all of those worries have kind of gone out the window. If you're interested in the more technical specs, uh, the weight of this is 1.15 pounds. Canon actually doesn't have a 35 mil F1.4 for their mirrorless cameras right now, but their EF mount lens is 1.7 pounds, which is quite a bit heavier. And the Sigma is 1.46 pounds. And in terms of size, the Canon is quite a bit bigger, but the Sigma, the Sigma is very similar in size to the Sony 35 mil. Also, if you're wondering in terms of size, the 24 mil is almost exactly the same size, which is another really great lens. And at this point, some of you might be saying, hey, didn't you just say that the Sigma 35 mil F1.2 is like the greatest 35 mil lens ever? Well, yes, but it's a different beast. Look at the size difference. Oh my gosh, it's like, it's literally probably twice the size of the Sony 35 mil F1.4. So these are totally different lenses. When it comes to lenses, size does matter for a lot of people. Yes, this is a 1.2 and the 1.2 is incredible, but it is huge and it is more expensive, not by a ton, much less than you would expect. The Sigma 35 1.2 is $1,499, whereas the Sony 35 1.4 is $1,399, which is a lot cheaper than the Canon EF 35mm 1.4, but it is quite a bit more expensive than the Sigma 35mm 1.4. But the Sigmas, I feel like their autofocus isn't quite as good as the native camera lenses. They're good, but not quite as good. And then you get some of that sound and all that stuff. 
All in all, the new Sony 35mm 1.4 is an incredible lens. It's not cheap, but it's really good. And if there were two prime lenses, the only prime lenses that I could ever use for the rest of my life, they would be the 35mm and the 24mm. This Sony 24mm 1.4 is super nice. I think it's actually my favorite prime lens now. I would still recommend for most people, if you could only choose one prime lens to get a 35 but. 24 is really good and if you're like me thinking about maybe switching over to Sony but you're kind of worried about the glass situation there are no worries take it from me Sony has incredible glass there's only one question left to ask uh, Sony what do I have to do to fly that drone <laughs> man I want to try it out ah